you guys, um, um, uh, look at the mic up, um, the, um, with a win, you guys scored eight times in the first inning, and you guys have a great dynamic, uh, high hot game offense. Yeah, we got off to a good start. Uh, we've actually been talking about that, um, as a team, that typically this ball club in the last two years, we're a good finish team, seventh, eighth, and ninth, with the back end of our bullpen. And with this particular club, we've been slow starters, and we kind of kept feeling out our opponent. And we've been stressing to have a better start, and, and obviously we're not thinking we can score five runs but uh, in the first inning. But the eight runs early was, was good, and then Cal tried to make a run at us and the ability to extend late. Uh, we're happy we got the series, and hopefully we'll play well tomorrow and, and do, do a little bit better. Well, some of the, uh, the big stars of the game, uh, Scott Heinerman, he went, um, he um, had a great night. He had three for five, four RBIs, two home runs. Um, um, also, uh, Healy, he um, had a great night and four plate appearances with a couple RBIs. And guys played some long ball. Tell me about your, the, the heart of that lineup for the, for the Ducks. Well, yeah, you know, I think the, the first inning was a case of our big hitter, you know, our, our, our power hitter, Healy. Actually, I uh, got two strikes on him, used the whole back, got jammed, and hit a blooper into right field. And that had a lot to do with the success of the first inning and the dimensions of the field here with the construction are pretty tiny. You know, I'm, I'm calling pitches. I don't feel real comfortable <laughs> even with a, a five and six run lead. And obviously, we ran into some mistakes that they they made. And they, they did the old Johnny Staff pitching where they were running a lot of guys out of there. And I commend our guys for uh, sustaining the effort and finishing. And, uh, you know, it's not indicative and in character for us to score that many runs, and, uh, but we'll take it, and uh, hopefully we'll get it done tomorrow. So. And one more uh, thing, um, what's the outlook for the future? You guys got uh, your 11 and three in the Pacific 12 in the Pac-12 conference, 26 and eight overall. You've you come a long way since uh, reviving this Oregon baseball program, and you got a lot more games coming up. You got to take it one day at a time, though. You know the old yeah, saying. Yeah, that's the old cliche, and that's like kind of how we do it. We take one practice at a time, and even within the game, we play one inning, one pitch at a time, and try to take care of that. And one of our mottos is to stay present and not look backwards too much. And so I challenge my guys to see if they can have the best attitude tomorrow. That's going to be challenging because Ghost Hester and the Cal Bears have a lot of pride. And they've lost five pack games in a row. And, and a lot of close games, and it includes some heartbreakers against the, the defending national champion Arizona Wildcats. And that could have been the difference. And, you know, they're struggling right now. They've lost seven of their last eight five losses in a row, seven out of eight, ten out of 13, and they're going to be fighting uh, tomorrow, and they didn't show no quit tonight either. No, they didn't. I have a lot of respect for Coach Esker and Cal, and uh, because we have great respect for them, the responsibility that we have is to show up and play hard, and hopefully we'll be successful. All right, Dave, on behalf of Bayer Sports Weekly, uh, or George Hart, on behalf, behalf of Bayer Sports Weekly uh, congratulations on the W, and hope to hear from you real soon down the road. Uh, thank you. Uh,